if done this. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to hold a long-standing grudge against the fantastic Haley Taylor Simon. Yes, she is an amazing part of our team. Here. Runs our YouTube feed and does a great and job I, at I, it. I love her like a sister. But I've got to tell you, if I can use the dad word, this was Betty's word for me, like mom to son. Oh, it's oh. I'm disappointed yeah, in you. That sucks. Was the worst ever. They yesterday, in the midst of game two, I saw numerous Phillies fans saying, series over, season's over, see in spring training. This is why this team sucks. They're awful. I'm done. Uh, flyer season now. I I'm I am disgusted by the fan behavior. And how early did you see that? Because fourth, fourth inning. Because let's be honest, it was I it was it. not fun. No, I saw it after Sanchez gave up the two run homer. Right, it was there. When it was three nothing, it became a a cavalcade of floods. Up oh, now we're on to now we're on to flyer season. I had another one. It's Sixer season now. Get me to Paul George and everything. I guess nobody I'm, cares about the Eagles anymore. I'm so disgusted <laughs> by the fan be yeah, play, hey, man, play I'm the ready. song. Uh, I am so disgusted. By this fan behavior from a franchise that has given you so many exciting October moments the last two years. That people would be like, I'm out. The, the person who says, this sucks, they're doing terribly, I'm pissed off, I totally get you. Yeah. And I, you know what? I'm a brother in arms. But when you start with the season's over, let's go on to the Flyers, let's go to Sixers. I would collectively ask as a fan base, would you please put down your phone? You don't need to tweet everything. Because I never need to see you again tweeting, welcome to Red October. We're winning. This is good. This is great. We're all here for the Phillies. Because if you gave up, you gave up. You don't get to give up twice. You don't get to surrender in war twice. Uh. You don't get to do that. That's the French. You give up on your you give up on your team. You give up on them once. And that's it. And you know what? The bandwagon's full. I don't want you on board. I don't want you amongst the I don't want you standing next to me at the parade. Because I damn well know those same people will be there at the parade saying, Hi, that look what we're doing. Go Phil's Red October. Enough of the nonsense. From this point on, I'm going to forgive our Haley because she's too great a member of the team. I'm forgiving Haley. This is an exemption, and she apologized for it. But I'll tell you this much, it can't happen again. Ever happens again. Anyone from this point on that bails on this team, you suck as a fan. You, do, you just do. Out. Now, Get out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. I think it would have been fair to have said if they lost this game and it doesn't look no, like different. it's going well, this series is over. No, that's I have no. If 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 after two, I said to you this morning, if they were down 0-2, I would not be confident in any way, shape, oh, or no. form. I would not that think they'd that win. they would win. Three but straight. during no. a, 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 the fifth inning of a game, and they're and they're down three runs, and you think the season's over, you know what? Then go go do something else. Well, I do believe watch. part of it may have been the thought process of oh, if they lose this game. Re- no, they didn't say that. They gave up in the middle of a game. Yes. In the middle and of a game. You can't do that, they especially when you have this high-powered offense. You couldn't can't wait to hit the 280 characters and say, I'm done. Folks, I need everyone to just like, I know it was a stressful weekend. It was for all of us. It was for all Phillies fans. But you have a 95-win baseball team that in the fifth inning of that game was 14 innings into a postseason. Yeah. Push. 14 innings. Okay, so remember, in the stress, games change quickly. It takes a lot to eliminate a team. Series can turn around real quick. So it's not over till it's over. No, absolutely. You can't can't say that you can't tweet out that the game's over, series over. You know, come on, don't give up on your squad. And I'd have no problem with somebody, if it was 0-2, saying, season's over, I'm done. Right. I would have no problem because if you believe that, you believe it. I would have believed it, but it I was, would not think that they would have won three straight. I would games. not. I told you flat yeah, out. I would. I, w- I wouldn't. In, I would have zero confidence yeah. that they were going. In fact, I probably lean towards them losing in three if they had lost that game yesterday. I probably well, thank would God, lean. Thank God we don't even have to have that discussion, and, and John. More importantly. 
Does everybody like and and two when Rob good, Rob bad? I loved Rob's decision as far as the pitching staff. Mm-hmm. I really feel good about now the decision that he made because I worked out big time for him. And man. Sanchez, Sanchez did he his job. Well. He pitched well, and, and then, you got the win. And now you feel good going into a one-one tied series going to New York. Probably better than you would have with Sanchez on the mound. And that's no disrespect to Sanchez. 